gonna have a little peek at my new transfer case drop kit. Scissors weren't quite cutting it, no pun intended. So, uh, haven't really felt good today. I've had a sinus headache all day, like, almost migraine worthy, I guess you could say. It's been pretty bad. Uh, I've been trying a bunch of things, and, uh, um, I felt kind of, I felt better right now, so I decided to try out and see what, uh, how my transfer case drop looked. Um, so I went ahead and opened that up, and, uh, my dad's working on the top right now. Just trying to get that uh, adjusted better because we've we've had it sitting on the Jeep uh, how many days would you say dad like two oh, three or four. Oh, three or four. Um, so it's been kind of stretching out and uh, getting looser so we're tightening it back up and everything but uh, yeah I mean I just haven't really felt good today I mean I'm I'm still in my PJs <laughs> but uh, yeah all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do this part today since I'm feeling all right and then uh, I believe tomorrow we're gonna do the transfer case drop on the Jeep um, but when you first get your transfer case uh, drop kit um, whether it be for a YJ a TJ uh, I'm sure a JK and a CJ it's all basically the same so you're gonna get like these uh, uh, plastic uh, bushings here it's gonna come with a little sleeve insert that you put in there um, hopefully your kit comes with these extra bolts, what you will do is uh, you'll unscrew the uh, bolts that are holding it up your uh, skid plate, which holds up your transfer case and your transmission. So, you know, you'll slide this in between the, uh, the frame and the skid plate, take your new bolt, which is going to accommodate for this extra length, and, uh, you know, you slide that up underneath your skid plate. Or through your skid plate, I mean, and uh, screw that into this, uh, the frame of the Jeep. Pretty simple. 